Okay, welcome back. Um, today, I just want to give a quick update on my scanning setup. Uh, if you remember from the last video I did about that, I used the Valoi scanning system thingy bomb with a copy stand. I had an old Nikon AFS um, macro lens. I had to use some uh, filter adapters and stuff like that. And I wasn't really happy with the whole, how the whole thing was going down. Um, and then we talked about that I would start doing my own little masks because I wanted to have the sprockets in and Veloy has, at least for the 35 mil, they do have a sprocket system where you can scan the with the sprockets, but it still cuts off the outer, outer edge of the film, which makes sense, which I learned, <laughs> because it actually keeps it in a track and keeps the film steady and flat for scanning, um, which was one of my biggest problems when I started doing my own little adapters that would fit on the Veloy system. And I might have gone a bit, either I went too complicated or not complicated enough, I'm not really sure. But the system I have now, over time, kind of works now. The first pair of um, little masks, scanning masks I did were okay, but I didn't make the tracks close enough so it would grab the or kind of constrict the 35 millimeter film with the 120 film no problem at all that worked quite well well there's a little bit of play but it's fine i don't have to like micro adjust everything like crazy which was very annoying with the 35 millimeter um, film so what i did was just, you know, try and find a better solution. First of all, I got a proper macro lens for my um, R5 here. I got the Canon RF thing. I found a good one used for a pretty good price and I can use it for other stuff as well. That already made a big, big difference. Also, I don't know if you saw that in the footage, maybe. Um, I'm trying to, I will put it in there. Um, the R5, as other cameras have also, has this little pixel shift thing it can do where I think it's four times the regular size. And um, that is actually, so it, basically you choose the pixel shift thingy bob, then press the shutter and it basically takes the stabilized sensor and makes its own little panorama and the picture comes out four times the size. And I ran into a little problem with that. Not really a problem, that works fine and great. And I did a A-B testing basically with like a couple pictures, which I can't show because they're all not suited for YouTube or work or whatever. Um, actually, the big problem was that the regular photo scan came out one way and the big one came out another way in Negative Labs Pro, which I finally bought. And I still need to learn. So that's why we don't have lots and lots and lots of pictures in here <laughs> or like the workflow thing. I might do that, but there are professionals out there who um, know their way around Negative Labs Pro much better than I do. Um, and also the role of Cinestill 400D that I did scan for, or for the testing for this video I don't know what went wrong. I think I might have messed up the ISO uh, when shooting and then developed it for 400 and I maybe tried to push it or something. I don't know, something went wrong. It's very, very grainy, but at least I know now that my masks work, which is very, very which was the main important part anyway. And now um, there, I did all the test scanning and as you can see, like the test developing in uh, Negative Lab Pro. Um, I think it's time to start rescanning all those films. <laughs>
that was a fun exercise. Um, you know, doing the stuff in Fusion 360 and trying to fit everything. And I was at a point where I was like, I'll just make them flat and just put it on the Sinistel backlight thingy bob. But having the distance between the film and the light in that Veloy holder thing is actually really nice. And it's well made and so, yeah. I just wish they had the, like, frameless scanning option by themselves so I didn't have to do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed this little video. We might do more scanning stuff maybe at some point. I don't know if this is interesting at all anyway, so. But that was fun. So thanks for the comments on that one video that kind of encouraged me and um, have a good day. Alrighty, bye bye. <laughs> Radio.